Hi there, I thought I'd put instructions onto video for you guys. So the username to log in is Unilever, all lowercase, and the password is Unilever09, all lowercase. Now I'll go into the pumps themselves, I've already switched them on at the plug. Switch them on using the back button. You'll notice that all the pumps okay. I haven't switched it on at the wall, obviously. Ah, on at this plug here. All the pumps are, are flashing. We first of all need to stop them doing that, so just press enter on each pump. Now the computer has to send each of these pumps instructions individually. So we need to tell each pump what number it is. So the first pump is pump 00, zero indicated here. Second pump 01 indicated here. And this pump is 02 indicated here. Now to specify this for each pump press set 1 and for the address type in 02 02 press enter press enter again that 9600 is the is the rate at which information is is sent to these devices but we can ignore that that pump is set up and you know that because there's no flashing lights on the screen We'll do exactly the same thing for this guy. Set one, pump zero one, so zero one, and enter. Enter, that pump is set up, no flashing lights. We'll do the same for the last pump. So set one, zero zero, and that pump is set up. Now, an important aspect of these pumps is to make sure that they're fully loaded with liquid and to replace liquid once it's used up. And there's some aspects of that which I, I want to explain a little more. So, okay, we'll use the software on the computer to control the pumps. So I'm going to go to is it hard to see? It's BSC anyway. BSC Taste Project. Double click on it. And then we want to run this program. And we do so by clicking either the run button. It's very hard to see, but it's one of those little buttons up there. Or we go to build and run. Or we click F7. Just pressing enter through these options here, because we can ignore them really at this point in time. So here is our run menu. Now I want to show you, first of all, how to use this menu to load the pumps. If I simply ran all the pumps by clicking on run all the pumps options, all that does is it makes all the pumps run together. Let's stop all those pumps now. Now to refill the pumps, we have to change the, re the direction in which the pumps are being pushed. So to do that, you click on the change direction button. If you notice down here, that there's a, an arrow has appeared. Now I have to press stop pumps. Now when I run all the pumps again, they'll be running in the, the opposite direction and thus would suck liquid into the pumps. So let's stop that for the time being. Let's go up to one of these pumps here. Let's pretend that this pump here has, uh, has been almost fully loaded with liquid. Why is it misbehaving? Let me pause the, uh, the one second. Let 
it was just a bit sticky, I'd imagine. So anyway, we 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 suck liquid through this pump, and it's coming to the end of the dial. Now, when I click, run all the pumps again. You'll notice that this guy is gradually uh, gradually moving backwards, and there'll come a point though when it hits the back rail. Now, this is something I didn't explain the other day. When it hits the back rail, it'll stop, and error messages will appear. It says stall there. So we'll just stop the software for the time being. We'll stop all the pumps running. Now. Unfortunately, the only way to get rid of this error message is to switch the pump off and to switch it back on again and to set it up again basically. So I'm doing all the uh, options we did before, all this, all the uh, setting up uh, button presses anyway. And now that pump is working again, despite that error message. Now, we'll do the opposite thing so that the pump, the pump has been um, the pump is near the very end, as in there's virtually no liquid left and it reaches the other end. Aha, now notice what's happened here. This clasp is misbehaving. And I've turned it and it's still locked on to this this uh, this screw here. Now this, this happens for this particular pump for some reason. We just don't know why, why it does so. And you really just gotta fiddle with it until the until the uh, the bugger works again to to get to where the, the end bit pops off as well sometimes but you can just simply push that back in I'm just gonna fiddle with it for a while ah, it's, not, it's not working, it, sh it should like spring back probably needs oil in this particular aha, so it just popped back in, you heard that so popping noise maybe it didn't pop back in damn it Let me put the camera down for a second. Okay, with a fair bit of fiddling, the guy's popped back in again. So now it's off the, the rail and we can move it over. I'll put this uh, cap back on the end. It's a, again, it probably needs to be super glued on to, to the end. Now we'll lock it into place. And we'll reverse the direction in which all the pumps are being run. Change direction. Again, the little arrow appears down there. Press the stop button, which equates to the enter key. And actually, now what we'll do is instead of running all the pumps, we'll simply run pump five using the pump five option. Okay, another thing I forgot to mention is that if you have to restart a pump, you have to restart your software. To do that, you have to click Shift, Control, and Alt at the same time. And on the screen it says, would you like to abort? And we'll say yes. Let's run the software again. So we'll run pump five. It's working now. And let's see what happens when it reaches the end of the rail. I think it should give us an error message. It might not, it might just stop. Yes, we have the same error as before. It says stall. And to get past that again, we have to switch the guy off, switch it on again, and specify that it's pump 02. And we're done. And as before, we have to reset the